Hi, I'm Kriti Shastri. I am a fitness athlete. I've done bodybuilding and powerlifting shows and I'm a coach. With strength training, it helps you to build muscle, gain that strength and feel more toned, look toned and with age, you'll only feel that you're getting younger. A lot of the times, people still ask me like, are you in college? But <laughs> I'm not, I am, I'm actually working. But I get that because I've been training for over 10 years now and that's what, it, that's what strength training really gives you. If you're lifting weights in the gym, it keeps you young and it also helps you to always look forward to training because it's more of a long term thing. It's not like, you know, you're going to be working out for probably the rest of your life, right? So it helps to have a goal um, apart from the physical appearance. And that's what strength training gives you. So in my opinion, strength training is very, very important for women, especially because we lose muscle faster than men and it's hard for us to um, keep that if you're not constantly working on it and constantly lifting weights. So if you're interested in uh, strength training and you're joining a gym, it will really help you to build your confidence and build your mental and physical fitness if you start strength training. And that's what I would encourage you to do. So when it comes to your mental health, training saved me. When I started training, lacked a lot of confidence in myself. I did have body image issues, which I think a lot of women struggle with. Um, a lot of men also struggle with the same. A lot of my own clients who have come to me with body image issues and they start training and I have seen the transformations that they have made from where they start, how they feel about themselves and after tr training for a little bit of time they gain a lot of confidence and they start looking at themselves very differently. Um, so that is what fitness training can actually do for you. And it has done the same thing for me as well as my clients where it takes you from a state of uh, not feeling confident or not feeling good enough, having body image issues to actually feeling good about yourselves and um, seeing yourselves differently. Um, so I think training can be a great outlet for you, no matter what you're doing in your life. If you have a stressful job or um, if you're dealing with a lot of other issues in your life, you need an outlet and you need to release that stress somewhere. And I think training is one of the best ways to release that stress. It helps you not just feel uh, good mentally, but it also gives you a lot of physical um, and health benefits. So I think strength training and fitness is actually more mental than physical. Physical is just an outcome, but I think once you start training, you will see that mental change uh, a lot more than um, what you see physically. And that's that becomes not important at a later stage in life. I think the most important thing is taking care of your mental health and uh, exercising any form of fitness, not just strength training, but if you like running, you should go running. If you like swimming, go swimming. Like you have to do something to just let that out and uh, find whatever works for you and do that just to be able to be in a good place mentally. And if you are someone who has not found that yet, I think starting with some form of exercising, whatever you're comfortable with, and doing that a few times in a week will help you change that mindset and it will also provide a safe space for you to release that stress. I think you will really experience a lot of mental health benefits through exercising and training. I diet not eat regular South Indian foods, but salpa protein foods add add. All of this adds to your overall protein intake and regular food like uh, your dosa, idli, uh, rice, sambar, dal, all that is okay. Only thing is in Indian diet, protein is very difficult to get in your regular food. 
so you have to be more conscious about adding like with breakfast add eggs add milk with your idli or sambar or uh, dosa whatever you're eating and reduce snacking that is uh, very difficult to do for a lot of people for me i like to keep a lot of healthy snacks so it's important to maintain a healthy balance so if you're eating rice eat rice but with that also add something like chana or something like uh, paneer or your uh, Uh, lentils something that has more protein that will make it a complete balanced diet and it's also important to eat a little bit before you go to bed because if you eat too close to your sleeping time your sleep will get hindered digestion will get hindered and you won't be able to wake up early for your workout the next day so all of this is important when you're considering your overall uh, fitness journey and also be able to stay consistent you're including enough protein you're including enough um, veggies in your diet that's also very important for indian diet if you're not able to get enough protein supplements are a great option it is not if you're going with a good protein supplement brand it is not harmful for women a lot of people think that it is not good for you but it helps you to get enough protein uh, in your diet i would say for anybody maintaining a 1 to 1.5 grams per body weight of protein is good for you whether you're working out or not that is something that uh, you should have in order to maintain uh, a healthy amount of muscle mass and be able to feel energetic and not feel lethargic through your day so recently there has been a lot of news around deaths in the gyms and deaths because of working out i would just like to say that it is really not because of the gym so don't fear working out people who experience such things in the gym is only because of very drastic exercising or drastic dieting uh, anything that's too much is always bad and if you are starting exercising you have to be careful with planning it out and take it step by step don't go 0 to 100 Uh, you have to start slow you have to give yourself time and don't be scared of it just because you see news of people who are overdoing it and they are uh, basically taking that risk for themselves because they are pushing themselves too hard so you don't have to push yourself that hard in the gym just do uh, whatever works for you right now and take it slow body weight training irbodu functional training irbodu id madodrinda nim body nal strength jaasti aagta hogutte mobility jaasti aagta hogutte flexibility jaasti aagta hogutte this was a male dominated industry uh, because i also saw how males men wanted to train with men females wanted to train with men so it was a challenging phase in my life to prove a point and i didn't even know why i had to prove a point uh, because i had the same kind of knowledge uh, compared to everyone or any other male trainer in the industry Right.